Kevin Hill back with you on SportsCenter. The breaking news, the Pacers acquiring all-star forward Pascal Siakam in a trade that sends Bruce Brown, Jordan Warren, and three first-round picks to the Raptors. Sources tell our Adrian Wojnarowski on Wednesday. Siakam, who could be a free agent this July, is averaging over 22 points per game. No doubt Malika Andrews and the Countdown crew have more on the Eastern Conference shakeup. Hey. Well, thank you so much. Hey, alongside Stephen A. Smith, Michael Wilbon, Bob Myers, I'm Malika Andrews. Well, just mentioned it. The Pacers, they made quite a move today, acquiring Pascal Siakam from the Toronto Raptors to pair with Tyrese Halliburton in what has been the best offense in the NBA this season. But the question, Stephen A., is what does that do to shake up the top of the Eastern Conference, if anything? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely I knew nothing. That was I mean, I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. I mean, I appreciate the move that they made. I definitely think he's an all-star caliber player. It makes them better. Halliburton is a stud. I get all of that. Miles Turner and those brothers can play. Major props to them. Obi Toppin and missing with the Knicks. He's doing good things there. Rick Carlisle is a championship and an exceptional coach. But when I think about Milwaukee, Boston, Philly, okay. I don't see them moving any of those three. Maybe Miami and the Knicks, maybe not. I just don't see them altering the balance of power in the Eastern Conference. I'm I think sorry. that's completely fair. I think it may be a first-round series could become interesting, though, particularly mm -hmm. because uh, against those three teams, the, the Pacers, they're 7-4 and four against them without Pascal. I mean, look, uh, my partner over here, Stephen A., the, the, the key word, the first answer, nothing, is, is true, even though it's hard for me to completely agree with you <laughs> but he's right he's right he's right you know, you're learning you know yeah yeah apparently um you said it too malika it makes it more competitive and maybe not now it doesn't change things now there's three teams in the east in my opinion this doesn't put them in that group i don't even know if i put it some in the top four but maybe next year it's 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 hard to, uh, this may not land well with people but it's hard to get players in indiana mm. it's it's not as easy as it is in some of the major markets so you get a chance to get a pascal siakam Looks like he wants to resign. Those are the reports. Hard to get wing players. Halliburton is going to keep getting better and better. Um, so I like the move. I like the move. It may, maybe they grow into something. But today, Malika, to answer your question, it doesn't change things at the top of the East. Let me just be the contrarian for a second. I wouldn't do it. Huh? Don't do it just to. I, I, don't, I don't disagree with you guys wholly, but I will just say this. If you were in a five, four or five series, and you get into that position if you're Indiana, and it's not impossible they get to a five, then you better be worried if you're the number four seed in the first-round playoff series, yes. And by the way, the Milwaukee Bucks, who couldn't stop the four of us defensively right now, how are they going to deal with that much offensive production potentially from, from the Pacers? And Rick Carlisle, a coach who does know how to deploy them, so... Yeah, it, you guys are right. I mean, this is not a this is not a move that's going to shake. It's not going to scare Boston. It might scare Milwaukee a little, just a little bit in the series. Yeah. Let's not go awarding the 76ers a, a, a championship just yet or a Final Four spot just yet, considering you know they sort of let you down. Sure. I mean, the, the Clippers and the Sixers are in a similar spot. The Dallas Cowboys position. Show me. You don't get extra credit. I don't. I don't trust you. I don't believe in you. Prove it. So I think the Pacers have made a right. nice little move here. No, is it going to shake things up at the top? No, right. but you might be a little nervous if you're one of those teams you got to play the ministerial. I personally believe that despite what you just said and despite what I initiated the conversation with, that you were just very, very cruel to the citizens in Indiana yeah. because you compared them to the Cowboys. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I compared yeah, the Sixers and the Clippers. Cowboys. I'm saying what I'm Cowboys. saying is... They have misquoted the Cowboys Cowboys the Cowboys young haven't young shown anybody anything in 29 years now. What I mean, this is new with everybody else. I want Clippers else. showing people yes, nothing. I blame you. I blame you for bringing up the Cowboys. You should know if you do that, he's going to go He's going to go off in any direction. I was vaping that one, Bob. It is a beautiful <laughs> it has been a very beautiful week. Before we go, week. totally yeah, Dallas Cowboys, Clippers, L. Cowboys. Let's send it back to you. Same we'll see you at the top week. of the hour for NBA Countdown. That'll do it for us for now. <laughs>